several senators are now calling for the impeachment of Public Service Performance and Delivery Management CS Moses Kuria over his sloppy conduct in office. This is after the CS made remarks against the senators over the ongoing impeachment of Governor Kawira Mwangaza. The senators, led by leader of majority Aaron Cheriot and his counterpart Stewart Mazzaio, warned that Kuria had attempted to interfere with the impeachment hearing. Senator Cheriot claimed the CS was an embarrassment to the Kenya Kwanza government and the President William Ruto, our very own Dolly Murigi Mbuvi, with the details. A warm welcome to today's uh, Senate live proceedings. Senators have vowed to take stern action against public service CS Moses Korea following his comments on the ongoing impeachment motion against Meru Governor Kawira Mongaza. On Tuesday, Korea made several posts on his ex account, formerly Twitter, claiming that the motion against Mongaza did not hold enough evidence to warrant impeachment. In a subsequent post, Korea accused 13 senators of being misled through evidence presented in the motion. In the arbitrary during the second day of Mongaza's impeachment hearing, the senators demanded that an absentia be made on Korea's unbecoming conduct and that he be left of his duty. It is my submission, Mr. Speaker, that the earlier CS Moses Korea is let off his duty, the better for this administration, Mr. Speaker. Because every single day, in every action that he undertakes, he continues to embarrass the president and the people. No wonder the people of Kiambu resoundingly rejected his bid to be their governor, Mr. Speaker. It's because of this kind of habit, the kind of things that he says, how he goes about his duties, Mr. Speaker, and overall, his conduct as a human being. The senators accused Kuri of running rogue by making several claims against the House and its members in the midst of an impeachment process. Nyeri Senator Wahome Wamatinga supported the proposal to implore the president to sack Kuri from his position. We as a country would stand up and be counted with one voice and tell the president that he should not be held hostage by some of these log ministers he has appointed to the government. Mr. Speaker, sir. At this time when Kenyans are suffering from high cost of living, the least that we need are these ministers who cannot even pronounce them to the policy direction, but instead they take it to the tweet and the media to actually de-abuse and debilitate this house. Mr. Speaker, sir, I do join lunch with my colleagues. It is the high time we tell the president he must put the house in order. According to Nairobi Senator Edin Sifuna, Korea was an embarrassment to President William Ruto and a national shame. This is something that I have said on many stages, that in fact Moses Korea is an incorrigible national shame. Mr. Speaker, one of the things that I, I ask myself is just how much embarrassment does the president have capacity to endure? And I can assure you that if nothing is done about Moses Kuria, there is more embarrassment coming. That one I can guarantee. Mr. Speaker, what is in, most uh, hurtful is that even after your communication, the CS who ordinarily should be asleep thinking about how he's going to make the lives of Kenyans better, had the audacity to fire off another tweet on material that was presented before this house. Mr. Speaker, what I want us to do, honestly speaking, action must be taken. I am actually made aware by the members of uh, uh, this house who represent us in the PSC, that Moses Kuria ran away with money belonging to parliament. He should actually be brought to answer questions about those things and removed from his position because for me, really, there's nothing that brings me greater joy than being proven right about the, thing, the things that I've said about this administration. Umabi Senator Moses Kajuan asked the Senate to summon the CS to substantiate his claims. According to Kajuan, the conduct of Kuria is enough to warrant an impeachment in case he was a governor. The many impeachments that we have uh, processed in this house, if the conduct of CS Moses Kuria was to be considered, his conduct falls within the threshold of impeachment. If he was a governor and if, if, if he was brought to this house, he would definitely be impeached. And Mr. Speaker, I want to urge the members of the other house, because they are the ones who have the responsibility of censuring and sending home cabinet secretaries, to take serious judicial notice of the conduct of this particular cabinet secretary. And this house, through the relevant committee, can come up with resolutions that can then be used to move the other house to discuss his conduct and to have him censured. And I hope that Senator Cheriot, because you've got the ear of the president who's the appointing authority, let us not just complain in this house. In his verdict, Senate Speaker Amazon Kingi asked the senators to invoke the House standing orders to start the process of impeaching the CS by making recommendations to the National Assembly. Tolly Marikimbovi for Hope TV.